You know what it is, man. It's your homeboy T Pain. And right now, you're watching New Music Director. Your artist, your music, your link. It's auto tune, really dead. Take your shirt off. Take your shirt off. Take your shirt off. Take your shirt off. These days, it's getting tough. Music industry is changing so much. It's, you know, it's taking effect on everybody's career. It's about the real pushers and the people that keep it, keep it moving, keep it pushing. I feel like I'm one of the strongest one of those. It's always been tough, but. It's just one of those times where you gotta keep it pushing. You actually have to work now. My career has been uh, fantastic, actually. I think I changed the face of music at least for a couple years. There's a lot of people sounding like me. They, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people were afraid to do what they wanted to do until I started showing a free spirit and showing everybody that it's okay to do what you want to do. And then once that happened, I guess all of a sudden everybody's been wanting to do, you know, a sound like this. And, Hey, if I'm responsible for that, man, then I'm part of history. The pain part of my name is basically about the struggle coming out of Tallahassee. It was hard getting out of there, and you know what I'm saying? A lot of people can feel that in my music because, you know, not many people want to be in the situation they're in in their hometown. So it's like feeling of the passion that it took to get out of Tallahassee and the passion it took to make it through all the hate and, and all the, you know, the bad people in the industry and all the snakes. and. You can feel that in music, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do music for, to express our feelings. And once somebody connects with those feelings, that's got a, a real connection right there between artists and listeners. <laughs> Whew, boy, the ride, ride from Armstrong to Revolver. Man, it, it's, been, it's, it's been a dirt road, I know that. <laughs> I've gone through more obstacles than most because I was something new when I dropped Armstrong. And you know, people just don't like what they don't understand. So going through that phase and trying to make people understand it so they do like it is, you know, and no one wants to give you a chance to understand you. It's like, man, that, that's the, the bumpiest dirt road of all time. Connecting with the audience is definitely a, a conscious thing for me. Like when I came, when I'm sprung, like when I did the video, I didn't want to wear any jewelry. You know, I didn't, I didn't want Akon to be all dressed. I didn't want anything to look more than what it really is. Because, you know, people, your audience has to grow with you. The people that have been with me since I'm sprung, they've grown and have matured at the same level that I have and that they've seen me mature. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, you know, you don't want to come out like I'm already flashy. Like, even though you've never heard of me, I don't have a hit song. I already have all this jewelry. I already have these cars. Like, it's, it's too much. I'm in the video, I'm walking down the street. You know what I'm saying? I have on regular clothes, it's just a, a dicky outfit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's normal stuff and people connect with that. They're like, wow, this guy's actually, he might be real. The way to keep the creativity apart from the glamor is just don't pay attention to the glamor. Make your glamor creative. When I come with stuff like the big ass chain, like people see that it is a $400,000 chain but it's funny as hell as well. You know what I'm saying? It's also just something that, oh, he didn't just get that from anywhere. He, he came up with that. He made that. You know what I'm saying? And it's, you know, like when people see me with the Kool-Aid chain, people know my creative mind and my creative ways, and you can still see that I do that in my glamour. I feel like Revolve is my make or break album because it's, I've done so much now I've gotten to such a high point, if I come with anything less than what I've been doing, it's gonna be perceived as a fail. Like when Usher sold 20 million records, and then he came the next album, he sold 10 million records. And people were like, ah, oh, he failed. It, 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 that's it for Usher. I'm, and I'm like, he went diamond. Like, that's, you can't do, who does that? People ain't doing one. When I say it's my make or break album, I'm talking about the perception of the people. I'm still gonna be making albums regardless if this one flop or not. Best love song, man. I really, I've been, I've been pitching this song for the longest, man. I've just been waiting, waiting on the opportunity to show it to the world. And best love song just came to me. I was listening to uh, some beats from my new producer, Young Fire. He, uh, man, he's one of the best producers in the world. 
And I came up with that song fast, man, and it was just, it was like 10 minutes. I went in there and just, just recorded the song. I didn't write it, didn't do anything. Sent it to Akon that night, he sent it back the next day. All my music just come from the heart. You know what I'm saying? If it's a hit, that means it came from deep within the heart. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't try to make hits. I just make music that I like. If you like the kind of music I like, then you're gonna like my music. Don't go in making hits, because that's, that's when you don't. What's happening, man? It's your homeboy, T-Pain. Best believe I'm your new music director. Your artist, your music, your link.